So we're, we're in there now. Blue and Tristan's rule. Double link, double the projectiles, double the insanity. This is sounds like an incredibly annoying team to fight. In one of their matches, we saw bomb, bomb, down air. It was just like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like, I expect seconds, that to happen. Like, several down airs landing. I would expect it to happen constantly. I would be disappointed if it didn't. I'm surprised I haven't seen them like throw bombs at each other and mm -hmm. like, catch, like, play catch. All right, so this is interesting. Uh. So far, they're just kind of waiting to get the first kill and the momentum that comes with that. Yep. Oh, uh, no, that was his up. That was a good opportunity for Blue to try to gimp IPK without me. But IPK always goes for the ledge because if you aim directly for the ledge with Lucario's up B, it auto snaps to it, like Brawl. Yep. Um, it also has a hitbox as soon as it snaps on, which is unique to his recovery as far as I know. And I think they're going to be getting punishes on those uh, those uh, Link up B's at the ledge. Yeah. They're both sweet spotting, and they're not going to miss those sweet spots. So the thing about projectiles is once any kind of projectile at all is on screen, you have to respond to it in some way, be it by like altering your path to avoid it or attacking it or blocking it. And uh, Or in this case, like with Diddy, yeah. punching it. And uh, if you are not totally comfortable with like your partner, then there's just, imagine how many things you have to worry about in neutral. That's, if anything, what I think will help blue team because red team not only has to deal with all these projectiles flying around, but if they're bumping into each other too, that's just too much, you know. If they could at least, you know, work together well, then they'll be fine. But so far, it's uh, it's been even. I think blue team's projectiles have not... Oh. What is this, 3.02? Yeah, oh my goodness, he makes oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah, Junebug was just too low. He missed his ramen noodle, and then he air dodged. He air dodged down there? Yeah, he did. Oh, I thought that was a charge, but he was just too low and no. hit the boundary. He air dodged upwards. So I don't recall if Blue and IPK have ever fought. Tristan and IPK have fought a lot of times. IPK wins every set, but I feel like Tristan can possibly win. Blue is holding so, his own against uh, Edgeguarding June right now. Like honestly, a lot of trouble. Yeah, I think one thing that IPK struggles with just as a player is a really like uh, refined neutral, a really safe one. Yep. We've seen it time and time again. Like uh, when he fought Ares Morpheus at Aftershock, Ares Morpheus had the strangest, most patient neutral. Like he thought, you know, the longer he waited, the more fun he was going to have. He, he really enjoyed it. Um, and it totally threw IPK off and it killed him. Yeah. And uh, every time IPK runs into a character with a really unique neutral, like Captain Falcon, he has a tough time with it. And uh, I feel like Link is definitely one of those. Link is a character that I can see IPK having trouble with for that very reason. You have to play neutral in such, uh, such a unique way against the links. I think IPK spends a lot of his uh, lab time getting those punish games just perfect. Alright, so now it's looking like a game for blue. Red is both on their last stock. Diddy Kong is at 100% nearly. He'll be dying any moment, but can he... That'll do it. That'll get the gimp. That'll uh, even it up. That's what he needs. If he gets one more, they win. Potentially. But uh, blue Lucario's, team uh, has the ability to kind of like wall off and keep that from happening. Lucario has Aron on deck. Nice. One uh, one of the powered up side beat. Oh. oh, I think he lost it uh, recovering yeah, yeah, yeah. just there as you were explaining it. Yep. Once so if he had gotten a side beat, he could have just powered it up. Yeah. Gotten a kill. Once APK loses his aura, he's a completely different player. Um, and is the the character's recovery is a completely different recovery as well. A lot more manageable to Gimp. All right, so they run it back. Nope. Links one, yeah. Blue team is up 1-0. That was a pretty like solid win. Yep. They didn't do anything really weird suddenly. They just kind of were either even or in control the whole game. The set had a nice flow to it. It wasn't swinging too hard either way. No. So I guess they're talking about character switches. Uh, yeah. I'd be willing to guess that IPK wanted the salty run back, and Junbo was like, "Wait, let's talk about this." <laughs> Because yeah. IPK is uh, known for doing salty runbacks to the ends of the earth, unlike PS2 and Smashville. No, we haven't seen it yet, but uh, I don't know if IPK will pull out his Fox or if Chupac will pull out his Gimp. I don't think he should. Yeah, I don't think he'll, especially in this case, the Gimp's on Fox are going to be nasty. Yeah, his Fox plays a very specific style, and I don't think it's suitable for doubles. When you play as a fast floor, you run the risk of, like, one, you're probably a really good character, but you can get punished much much harder for your mistakes and if you're not on point then uh that's gonna happen a lot i count on that a lot against a lot of teams good teamwork there Close yeah. out those stocks all right so this is fairly even 
Wow, that killed. That was like 85 or something. Until like something hit him. And then a down air. Alright. Pretty even. Junebug's probably gonna make it back, but wow. if he gets caught off guard by like a tink down smash, he's gone instantly. There was no punish on that tink wow. down smash though. So like PS2 is a weird stage because it's got really close boundaries. Um, statistically speaking. Yep. But it's extremely long. So that means you know, it's close boundaries on one side of the stage, and on the other side of the stage, it's like furthest possible boundaries. So if you're killing someone from the left side of the stage to the right, it's going to be as hard as it is easy to kill if you are facing the other way. That's what we saw Junebug do. He got hit at like this ridiculous percent and managed to go from the right half of the stage to the left yep. and live. Had the wherewithal to get that good DI. Yeah. So like, if you're a character that thrives off of killing off the side, you got to consider that Sometimes this stage is going to do the literal opposite and make it extremely difficult to kill off the side. You just got to have a good position at center stage. All right, so we'll see if it's like they evened it up. They had that early lead with two stocks. Yeah, blue team evened it up. Yeah, but yeah, red team took it back. So this is now five stocks to three. They're just. Playing better, they're not making any as many mistakes. Oh. That's that's one. Except for yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except for that one right. Yeah, as you commentator's say. curse. It's a thing. Yeah. If you say it, then it happens to them. Yep. If you say that something isn't gonna happen, then it immediately happens, and it's just the way it works. No one's figured out how to uh, wield commentator's blessing. Is it even a oh. Thing? The uh, the comebacks are real. Yeah, this is suddenly turned into a... Like, it's not an even game, considering the percents, but with characters like these, they can fix Diddy Kong up real fast with a high percent. Yeah, they just gotta keep the keep the space. It's gonna be harder to get IPK, but if they get, like, an up B with Link, it's over. Alright, yeah, this should be a wrap. Unless we Toon see Link. some truly uh, Giffy Cat-worthy yeah. material right now. I, oh, maybe it could've been interesting if he landed his dare on the banana. Yeah. I was thinking Waveland, grab the banana, and then you have a tool for you. Mm. Alright, so... Yeah, oh, I mean, no. even if he does get both of these kills, which is... Demanding enough on its own, with them covering each other. He'll have to go through an entire stock of one of them. And... For, uh... And he makes it back. Before, like, these are both very, yeah. very strong players in singles. He's really freaking out. He's just throwing out a lot of weird aerials. And, like, up being on stage and yeah. not punished. Dash attack, yeah, lots of lots of spaghetti right now. Oh, I thought a dare hit. Oh well, yeah. I don't think it would have won them the game, but it would have helped. So one one, and where are they gonna go? Blue team's gonna want something really wide because they're projectile characters and they want to have a lot of space to do that. Um, PS2 is honestly a pretty good pick for blue team. Yep. I mean, it's a good pick for both teams, but uh. I don't know what would what would be bad for Red Team because they also want uh, a good amount of space. At least they both like PS2. They want to go in because Toon Link, Link, if they get those bombs out, boomerangs, controlling space, room to run around. Dreamland might be really good. Yeah. I feel like Dreamland might be their best pick. Uh, Toon Link and Link are going to live a really long time. And they're going to have a lot of platforms to platform camp on yep. if they need to. Uh, and if you give Tristan's rule platforms, you're going to understand a little bit of like what he's going to go for. He loves yeah. his pogo stick. Just down air, down Yeah, he air, likes air, to stay air. in the air as long as he can. Yep. All right, so here we go. Three, Battlefield. I don't know if this was the best pick for them. One, it's not... I mean, I consider it a pretty good level for a blue team. But, uh... <laughs> All right. This situation. Okay, this is some loony things. I, uh, I expect uh, <laughs> somebody in the chat to make a perfect loop of that. Just an yeah. endless neutral of shielding. Tristan was getting ready to like set up his shield and just block him with that, but it didn't happen. The chaos had ended at that point. All right, so <laughs> Blue is getting kind of kicked around the stage by everybody. Yeah. On a stage like this, that'll happen. Oh, if that had been a down smash, he would have broken uh, Lucario's wow. shield. And 
would have been our first shield break, break of the day. Mm, missed his edge cancel. That's a bad sign. Yep. <laughs> he yeah. practices those constantly. Slipping on the banana. Metaphor for the game. All right. So that's good of Tristan to like stay up there. When it's a 2v1 and your enemies could potentially like beat you up, one thing you'll see that me and Yador do is when he loses his stock, since he's a multi-jumper, he'll just float up in the air where they're not going to beat him up. And then I respawn quickly, and I go down and try to clear a space for him to land. Yep. And just interrupt the, uh, my opponents. And Tristan's able to do that really well with Toon Link. He's going to be completely covered from below. Wow. Lucario had the tech chase, but he did, did capitalize on it. Waited too long. Yeah. All right, so that's not the first kill. Uh, Red Team just seems like they're comfortable now. I, I rarely have seen a situation where Blue Team is walling them out or confusing them with projectiles. This is mostly just kind of Red Team doing doing what they want and getting wow. what they want. That pressure. All just right. Smacking down his shield. Yeah, Tristan really needs to not be up there when that's happening. Commanding presence from... Uh, from Junebug and IPK. Yeah. I think Tristan Tristan's camping the top platform too much, and you'll notice it means that Blue is by himself down at the bottom fighting IPK and Junebug. You don't want to leave Link by yeah, himself. Yeah, fighting one. I mean, you want to 2v1 the enemies if you can. 1v1s are like, okay, but letting your opponent... Like, look at him. Blue's just kind of down there. And that combo wasn't even over. If he had, if, if did he had done an up tilt, Link is just stuck in those combos. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Tristan's strategy is very good in singles, where there's, like, not much else for you to do except try to attack the Toon Link that's up there. But in this situation, they could just ignore Toon Link completely. I remember yeah. back back in the day when Arrow was a, a Toon Link player, I would always decide in doubles when, when I had to fight a team of his to ignore him completely, because it's not worth it. It's not worth chasing him down, wading through all the projectiles and bombs, just to, like, hit him, do, like, two hits in a yeah. short combo, and then him get away again and have to do it all over. So in the meantime, I just like ganged up on his uh, partner with my teammate. So no, I found similar things fighting against snake players, where you're in doubles and they pull a grenade. They're busy doing something over there, and you're like, "Well, oh, you do your grenade thing. I'm gonna go beat up your friend." Yeah, yeah, that'll happen. All right, so it's an even game right now. Tristan has at least been tanking the stocks really well, so that's good. But uh, he, spends, he spends a lot of time up top. Yeah, but Blue is on his last stock, and he's about to need to borrow one. Very quickly, this is going to turn into one life each for Blue, for blue Team. Uh, oh, and the friendly fire is not what they need. Yeah. And no, he's blue dead. Is Tristan will die. Now it's one stock, one stock. And this is the last... No, this is a... Oh, it's it's 1-1? One, one? I thought they had... I thought Red Team was up 2. So they'll have another chance. But it's looking rough right now. I don't know what their options are for getting a gimp on either of these characters. Link could probably go for a really low nair on Diddy Kong, and yeah, uh, it's, it's actually very brutal. Yeah, it seems like that would be the best thing. I don't uh, know how they would deal with IPK. He's been going for a lot of. Uh, well, back here did it. That was interesting. All right, so IPK is now out of a charge, which he'll. It's not a big deal because he'll probably get it back really quick. Yeah, it's but lots, at least lots of things to hit. Yeah, at least everyone's on their last stock, and if Blue Team could get center stage and get some momentum going, they might have a chance. Alright, Blue's fighting for control, and they've lost it. It took them too long, the percent got too high in the battle, and now... We'll see uh, whether... No. The moment they got control, a stray hit killed them. Alright. Now, if they're patient, I feel like Red Team should just like take one side or the other. Like this, on the platforms. And then Tristan will... Can't, he can't stay on the top one forever. He can only cover what's directly below him. He'll, he'll drift to the one side or the other, and they'll just hit him at that point. I always love when other players take the, uh, take the banana. Yeah, in doubles, the best position for you to be in a 2v1 is to have your opponent sandwiched between you and your partner. And unfortunately, even though it's high up, Tristan has set himself up for that by camping the top platform. Yep. He's put himself right between. Oh! And if, and if, uh, two out of three. If, if Link and Link had won, that would have been an upset. I think. Oh, yeah. That would have been an upset, because this is a first seed that they're playing. Yep. And this huh. is only losers quarters? Yeah, so next is winners semis, which is a three out of five. I yep. don't know who they'll be fighting. Probably Probably uh Hero of Time and uh
strong bad. That's my guess. Yep. And you're uh, you're waiting in grand finals, right? No, or I'm waiting you, in losers, losers finals. finals yeah. Yep. It was a really close set, but uh, I have to rethink some approaches to that matchup. Yep. We were we were talking about a grid like a grid of lasers, just like the potential laser. There's an X over the stage at oh, all yeah. times. Me and Tanner try to do that constantly. It's extremely hard to pull off. I don't know if we've ever done it once. We've gotten like one solar beam this way to a parallel oh, solar beam, like carried one into the other, like a combo. Yeah. I mean, like potential lasers. There's just like always the line out and then like the X in the middle, depending on where you two are. We could also do like uh, the Omni Gay. We can, uh, if Kirby has a low enough port and he up throws, I can solar beam off screen. And then uh, as Kirby comes down, he'll touch the solar beam. The enemy will blow up, die instantly, and Kirby will be fine. That is amazing. Snake has a similar thing with like uh, Jolteon and um, Professor Pro came to SoCal and they competed in this balcony pregame tournament before Paragon and they were killing a lot of people by uh, Meta Knight having a low port I believe or Snake it's one of them they need the lower port for it though uh, Snake would sticky Meta Knight his teammate right Meta Knight would grab just any enemy up throw and while he was up there Snake would detonate the C4 it would kill the enemy and Meta Knight would be unharmed. Even though he was stuck. This thing was on Meta Knight and he'd be unharmed. Yep. That's control reports for you. It's an important thing. I know when my teammate and I sit down, it's like uh, Luigi Diddy. So it's like, if I get a grab, I wait there. Side B, I wait there. He comes in, gets the up B, and I get away like, untouched. Hmm. Oh, so I guess the winner of this has to fight my team. Yep. Um... I think I'd rather fight red team just for the sole reason of that I've played them before, and blue team could be a surprise. Yeah, and your edge guards on them were pretty pretty solid. Yeah. But who do I think will win this? Uh. I don't know. I think it'll all come down to IPK, because IPK has the potential to get beat up really hard by Hero of Time in my eyes. And uh, even though he has a good amount of experience versus uh, Wario against Sosa, I feel like Strong Guy could still pull off some gimps on him. I think IPK is going to be the decider here. Yep. It's close. I want to say Red Team might have the edge. And by Red Team, I mean uh, IPK.